Uh, hello friends today in this tutorial i will basically show you how to basically make a completely offline video editor inside ffmpg webassembly in node.js and express so you can see that guys this is the application i am running it on localhost 8080 if you reload the application you will basically find out we are running it on localhost 8080 so it's a completely offline video editor we also see this login statements guys if you see a logging statements is also there so now if i basically choose a video file you will basically have a button right here here we can select our video file to basically edit the video file in the browser let me select this video file so as i select this video file guys you will see it will completely tell all the information meta information about the video file here you can play this file here you can see that let me turn on the volume as well on convert now so you can see so the video is the playing right here there is there is a video player as well alongside with the video editor you can view it in the full mode like this so there is source as well it tells you the, the size of the file which is 80 mb and in the logging statement you will see it also tells you the title of the video all that stuff and here comes the video editing part guys you can change the encoding, encoding settings guys the default encoder for this video is mp eg g4 x264 here you can change the encoding as well and then we have quality as well you can change the quality of the video from 0 to 51 this is a slider you can even change the bitrate as well of this video guys in kpps so it will automatically detect the bitrate of the video as you select the video file and then we have dif different presets in ffmpg if you want to basically run it and uh, ultra fast mode you will select ultra fast if you have basically a gpu i have built in gpu which is nvidia gpu so i can select here ultra fast so if you have a external gpu then you can make use of this ultra fast as well you can also manipulate the frame rate of the video as well you can change the frame rate to 60 frame per second you can even trim the video as well let's suppose this is 7 minute 30 second long video if you want to trim it i can provide the starting part i also i only need to trim the first 5 seconds of the video so i will simply provide this 5 second we can even resize or crop the video as well we can even see mp3 as well you can see audio settings if i click encode guys so in the basically in the uh, logging statement guys you will see that now the ffmpg part will run here and this progress bar will be shown to you and now this uh, conversion has taken place so now your video is trim guys it is automatically uh, trim the in this tutorial first five seconds of the video you. now you can click the export button to basically download the video file now you can play the video file uh, so you can see that so that it's I a highly uh, excellent completely offline video editor that i developed as guys inside node.js and express you can directly purchase the full source code of this video editor the links are given in the description of the video you can go to paypal and make the payment in united states dollar or you can go to stripe and purchase it in indian rupees so let me show you the directory structure after the payment you will basically get this directory structure guys very simple application if you go to package.json guys we are basically using only the single dependency which is express right here that's all this is a single dependency we are using and in the public folder we have got all the html css and the javascript code right here this is the javascript uh, minified code right here you just need to deploy this on your uh, any website you need a vps for this virtual private server simply for this or you can even run it on a local hosting environment as well for this guys if you don't know about ffmpg it's an open source library ffmpg.org it's a completely cross-platform audio and video processing library and it basically offers web assembly ffmpg web assembly you have definitely used this package guys so it's a uh, way by which you can use ffmpg directly in the browser itself so let's suppose if you have ffmpg installed you uh, use it in the command line in your operating system but due to this web assembly guys you can directly use it using a web assembly uh, you can directly access ffmpg in the browser so with the help of that we are using uh, your, we have built a complete video editor and uh, you can see you can change it to ultra fast you can even resize the video guys let's suppose i provide a width of 500 and height of also 500 again if i encode here 
you will see that guys now it will resize the video as well so this will be slightly you can see that now the video is resized today to 500, 500 a application that the dimensions if i click export here the video has been downloaded if i check the dimensions of this video if i go to here if i go to properties of this and now you will see guys if i go to details the dimensions of this uh, frame width you can see that it has been changed to 500 by 500 so you can create any video size you just need to provide here in the box here and you can even crop any section of video as well guys so let's suppose i want to crop any sections of this video i will provide the width of the cropping section uh, i will say 100 uh, height will be 200 and the x coordinate and the y coordinate so x coordinate will be 50 25 and y coordinate is 50 i'm just showing you the basically the demo here you can see that the video is successfully cropped right here so a application with, uh, we have provide the x coordinate y coordinate width and height so it has automatically cropped the video it has cut the video at those dimensions uh, you can see so that. I basically show so you can that see it's how easy it is to basically perform all these operations and also you can deploy this on your own website as well and earn a lot of revenue as well you can also see the logging statements of FFMPG in the browser itself. So it makes it very much easy for the uh, user to actually see the process, conversion process with progress bar animation as well and the logging statements in the browser itself. So it's a complete offline editor, guys. It works without inter internet also. If you don't want to use internet, it is basically an offline video editor. It doesn't require internet. That's the main part. And uh, if I basically switch off my internet connection, if I you can see that if I switch off my internet connection and reload this, this will also work. If I you can see that if I select the preset and uh, then I say I need to trim only the first 10 seconds, click on encode. So now guys it will again work here you can see my internet connection is off right here but still it is working right here perfectly you will see that it's an offline video editor which makes it very much easy to perform uh, all the operations that you will perform basically if you want to purchase a video editor so it's a great alternative you can have your own application running in the browser itself you don't need a third party software so it doesn't require any sort of cpu resources as well guys so if you run this and check your task manager it doesn't put any sort of load inside your task manager your cpu also doesn't affect by it and uh, it doesn't uh, put load on your uh, cpu or any computer or laptop it runs in the browser so it makes it very much easy to do the video editing that so it's a complete video editing uh, application i'm giving you guys so the link is given you can directly purchase it the link is given you can go to paypal or stripe to make the payment and you will get this directory structure and if you have any sort of doubt you can also after payment you can contact me at my email address i will provide you full support after the payment and after that i will provide you support for how to deploy this or how to use this if, if any case problems occur so thank you very much guys for watching this video and i will be seeing you in the next video until then thank you very much